don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. As usual, I am your host Selassie. If you are today, I'm going to talk to you about the Ghana under 23 side. Yes, we suffered another penalty shootout and the omen, the bad omen of the penalty shootout continues for Ghana. Can we ever recover from this? I'm also going to talk to you about Jordan Ayu, who has responded to his critics who called him selfish in the game against South Africa. His brother Andrea Ayu defended him on that occasion. We'll hear what Jordan Ayu said to his critics who called him selfish. And also captain of the side, Andrea Ayu bemoans the bad pitch that prevented Ghana from scoring more than a goal against Sao Tome and Principe. As usual, if you're new to the channel, I we'll advise you to subscribe to this channel to click on the notification bell to get more updates. Let's get right into it. Last night, the Ghana under 23 side took on Ivory Coast once again, and Ivory Coast beat us in a penalty shootout. It's the third time Ivory Coast has beaten us, the national team, I mean, in a competition. In 1992, they beat us in the African Cup of Nations. In 2015, they beat us on penalties in the African Cup of Nations once again and in 2019 they've beaten us in the African Cup of Nations once again and lost to penalty shootouts continuous for the Ghana national teams. We've won three penalty shootouts and those games were against Libya in 1982 as I said, Heart of Folk beating Etoile to Sahel in 2006 and the Satellites versus Brazil in 2009. Since then, we've lost 22 penalty shootouts in the last 37 years we have taken part in them. Now penalty kicks are a really huge issue here in Ghana. Many people, the technical director of the Ghana Football Association believes penalty shootout is a lottery game but the Germans and other national teams have shown us that practice and mental work on the players really goes a long way to help them and I don't know why we have still not adopted that strategy yet. When it gets to penalty shootouts, many, you can hear many Ghanaian fans are going, oh no, here we go again. And it is quite unfortunate but penalty shoots out or penalty kicks should not be an issue as it is for us. I personally feel it's a mental issue and addressing that should be the work of the psychologist of the national team and this should be worked on it is costing us a lot of trophies imagine losing 22 penalty shootouts imagine the trophies we would have won in the last 37 years if the penalty shootouts were worked on efficiently and we won all of them 22 trophies possibly we would have won and we have lost all those trophies owing to a poor for penalty shootout. Now coach Ibrahim Tanko and his side did marvelously well in the tournament but unfortunately they fell short on penalties and Ghana have to play for the third place against South Africa in order to get the final spot in the Olympic Games and hopefully Ghana can beat South Africa and make it to the Olympic Games. South Africa too will be hoping to make it to the Olympic Games but we know our two Olympic game representatives for Africa and they are Cote d'Ivoire and Egypt. Egypt are making their 12 appearance at the Olympic Games and Ghana are looking to break that case. 16 years they've not been at the Olympic Games and hopefully they can make it for the first time since 2004. But the penalty case, as they call it, continues. I don't think it should be a case. I don't think it should be an issue. I think it's a blown over issue, something we can work on. It takes time to work on. The psychologist of the national team, the technical director saying that penalty shootouts are a lottery should not be heard or should not be the mentality of someone who has been put in charge of the national team. And I think the coaches and their technical staff will have to look strongly at this and work on it and make sure it is not an issue for the national teams going forward. Penalties are ways to win games. It's not fair but that is how football games can be won sometimes. That is how trophies are won sometimes. And if we want to win a trophy anytime soon, I think it's something we should also focus on. I move on to my next story. It has to do with Jordan Ayu. Yes, the Ghana international place where Crystal Palace in England has come under a lot of heavy criticism following his exploits against South Africa on Thursday night. Many people were calling him selfish for not passing the ball to his teammates when he had the chance and Jordan Ayu has come out to speak 
on this issue his brother andrea you defended him called him the striker of the side and he will be corrected and he will learn from his mistakes but as a striker of the team you have to be selfish sometimes and it's normal we see the best players ronaldo messi suarez all those players we adore and adulate so much being selfish on some occasions and getting the results the consensus here is that if you are going to be selfish please be successfully selfish that means score the goal but Andre, Jordan Ayew could not score the goals that he, he passed. He didn't pass to a teammate or pass too late or something. And many people were, were lambasting him for that. He responded and he says that everyone can think what they want. Now the Ghanaian striker Jordan Ayew has defended himself after missing a lot of chances in the Black Stars win over South Africa in the opening match of the 2021 African Cup of Nations qualifier. On Thursday, now the Crystal Palace attacker misused a lot of scoring opportunities in the game with many thinking could have set up other teammates to score. However, speaking to Football Made in Ghana after the game, Jordan shrugged off the claims and insisted he's a striker and he's he has to take the responsibilities. This is what he said. Everyone can think what they want. I am a striker. Some people say I am not selfish enough. So I try to take enough responsibility. If I score, everybody will, will say wonderful. If I don't, they will say I didn't pass the ball. It's all part of the game. The most important thing is that players are giving me confidence to express myself. Jordan Ayu found the back of the net eventually from the spot against Sao Tome and Principe on Monday. And I think I agree with Jordan here. He is the striker of the side. There will be times when he will have to be selfish. There will be times when he will be successfully selfish and score a goal. Other times he might miss it. And other times he might want to pass. But the best opportunity is that he has to score himself. This is all part of the game of football. And he will learn from it. We will all have to get used to the fact that he is the striker of the side. He will be selfish at some point in time. And the same fans, when you score, will be happy. The same fans, when you take that same decision and miss, they will be disappointed. You cannot satisfy everyone. And Jordan is right. He has to do what he thinks is right in that moment. And I think on the pitch, it's a different ball game altogether from you watching it from your television. So I agree 100% here with Jordan Ayu. He is in the best position to make the decisions he does. And I agree with him. Everyone can think whatever they want. He is a striker of the national team and he has to take upon some chances by himself. So to my next story it has to do with Ghana's game against Sao Tome and Principe. And many people were surprised that Ghana could score only one goal. But if you watch the game carefully, you'll see that the pitch wasn't the best. Any pass or any shot that was taken from the pitch dug a hole into the ground and it's like the grass of the pitch was really really bad according to reports that is where everyone in the country plays their football and that is why it's not so great maintenance is really poor to at that end now Santome and Principe is 15 times smaller than greater Accra region of Ghana population of 208,000 people you can practically pack everyone into the Accra Sports Stadium yeah that's the population of Santome and Principe and their small allied nation who are taking part in the AFCON 2021 qualifiers for possibly the first time in their history. For four years, they were unranked in FIFA because they didn't take part in any competition. And captain of the side, Andrea Ayu, is explaining why Ghana could not score many goals against Sao Tome and Principe. Now, the captain of the side, Andrea Ayu, has admitted that the horrible nature of the Estadio Nacional de Julio pitch prevented the team from scoring more goals. Now the Stars were expected to have scored more goals against the Selecao's Farcois in the game. Ghana recorded a 1-0 victory against Sao Tome and Principe kind Ketty of a penalty kick from Jordan Ayu in the 48th minute of the second half. Prior to the game, some players of the Black Stars had raised concerns about the state of the pitch after the team's first training session ahead of the game. This is what Joe Andre said, the pitch was horrible. But we possess the game like 80%. We should have got more goals, but it was a difficult surface to play on. Ghana is on top of Group C with six points after two wins in two games in the AFCON 2021 qualifiers. The AFCON qualifiers will resume in March 2020 with the starts taking on Sudan on March Day 3 here in Ghana. So we'll be with the starts as they face Sudan in March 2020. That's the next international 
break so that has been it for today i've been talking to you about ghana's guess at the under 23 penalty shootout case continues it is not a case we should stop calling it that i should stop calling it that it's not a case it's something that can be worked on and the technical team should strive as hard as possible to work on it the earlier the better it is costing us a loss in the last 37 years we've won just three penalty shootouts cost us 22 possible trophies yeah that's how big of an issue with this is and i think we have to really work on it jordan ayu has responded to his critics who called him selfish against south africa he is the striker of the side and he will take the decision that best suits him on the pitch and andre are you explaining why ghana could not score more goals against sao tome and principe the pitch was awful i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day